Welcome to the NPTE Final Frontier Podcast, helping one student at a time. Visit NPTEFF.com to enroll today so you can pass tomorrow. Thank you for joining us here on the NPTE Final Frontier Podcast. My name is David. And my name is Emily. Today, we will be discussing how to prepare for an interview, especially job interviews. So my first piece of advice for all of you listeners is to do your research. That can mean a bunch of different things. First, you need to understand what the job position entails. Know what type of patient populations you would be working with. What the setting is. Understand the location and different components of the job. I feel like one of the biggest things as people looking for jobs is sometimes we can just apply to a bunch of different jobs without even looking at the job descriptions. I highly recommend that you do your research. Look at the the specific facility that is interviewing you. So not only do you understand, you know, if it's the right fit for you, but also understand how you can gear your questions and preparations for the interview itself. I agree with you. You know, I think that if you go into this interview without looking up really the details of the place that you are interviewing, I think you're doing yourself an injustice. You know, you have to know what are they, what do they offer there? What do they have available? What do you like? What do you not like? It's so important to look that stuff up. With that being said, something else I also was looking into a lot when I was searching for jobs was I would look at the current staff. So whether it was just PTs, PTAs, or if they also had OTs or speech pathologists, no matter what positions they had, I looked at what, how many staff members they had and kind of like the degrees or specializations and certifications those people had. So if it was certain things that I was interested in, I knew there were people that could maybe help guide me along the way. Having uh, valuable mentors is such a good uh, aspect when you're in the clinical settings and everything like that. So I think that I that looking up who your colleagues are going to be in that facility, so valuable. Plus, it gives you people to look up to. Maybe you may not be, let's say, a PhD, but if you're working with somebody who is a PhD, maybe that will be able to pique your interest a little bit more or it's- even with the specific uh, uh, specialization. Exactly. And I think the next point we should mention right here is a lot of people often ask about mentorships, right? Mm -hmm. Mentorships can look like a lot of different things. Some jobs have a structured mentorship program, but other jobs may not have a specific program set up. That doesn't mean they don't have clinicians that can help guide you, especially if you're a um, newer therapist. So it's something to look into, whether they have a structured program or just have their own way of going about providing guidance and education for you along the way. That's something else that is important to look into. For sure. Uh, Something that's very important as well is what is their mission statement? That place that you are applying to, what is their mission statement? They usually have it posted on their website. So make sure that you check that out because that's going to inform you of their values and their principles. And then you're going to be able to see if that actually aligns with you and your beliefs. Do your ethics uh, both align? It is so important to look up that mission statement. And I think another thing we should discuss is the importance of being prepared for your job interview. So yes, we already mentioned about doing your research, which is important. But when I say to be prepared, I mean things like, understand how to get to the job interview, what the parking situation is, where do you go once you're actually in the building? Be on time. And by be on time, I mean, if you're not 15 minutes early, in my opinion, you're late. You need to give yourself time to be prepared, get in, be ready for the interview. The last thing you want to do is to be rushing or potentially late to the interview because that will not look good for your future employers. Yeah, don't do that to yourself. You have so much time to prepare. Don't set yourself up to fail. Something about setting yourself up too is how to dress. 
you know, something that could really delay you in your preparation is not having your clothing prepared, not knowing how you want to uh, appear to them. So prepare your clothing ahead of time. Have an idea as to how you want to present yourself. As Emily just mentioned, be on time and everything is so important. But when you're there, respect goes a long ways. Have manners, be professional, shake hands, think about how much you want this position and then go for it. So with that being said, in terms of how to dress and being professional, I also, in my opinion, I always think it's better to overdress than underdress because you, you know, you want to sell yourself. You want to look the part. You want to be proud of who you are. And I think making sure you're dressed professional is, is a great way to do that. So I always recommend, you know, dressing the part. Now, with that being said, I think a final piece of advice we should give you is although you are on a job interview, don't be afraid to interview the job. So is this the right fit for you? These are questions you should be asking yourself and your future employers. So figure out what matters most to you. What are your core values? And see if this job position aligns with those values. Some common things to ask include how many patients will you be required to see each day? What does a typical day look like for a therapist in that facility? And make sure the things that you are asking and the answers that these employers are providing to you align with what you want and where you see yourself in the future. Because it's just as important for a job to see you as one of their um you know staff members as it is for you to be able to see yourself in that setting as well so it goes both ways and that's going to be how you prepare yourself up for success and enjoy going to work each day now that you heard us discuss how to prepare for an interview here's a quote from babe ruth never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game so no matter what job you're going to go after do not be scared. Do not fear that strikeout. Go out and get it. Do not fear it. Go out and get it. You are powerful. You are strong. You are a final frontier warrior. You will pass. Thank you very much for listening. For more information on the NPTE Final Frontier, please visit NPTEFF.com. You can also check out all of our social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Till next time, have a great day and a powerful tomorrow.